All right, music fans, welcome back. It's just Harmless Dave here uh, talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So Wolfgang Van Halen has dropped another single. It's called Feel. And uh, I'm starting to get a feel for what Wolfie is really all about. Um, Rolling Stone was praising this single. So I... <laughs> It isn't like I'm automatically going to dislike it because Rolling Stone likes it, but this is 90s alternative rock or just alternative rock um, to throw it into a category. And it's kind of an easy throw. It's not like he's really reinventing the wheel. Um, but the reason I'm talking about this is because there are a lot of folks who are looking for Van Halen 2.0 here. And this is not Van Halen 2.0. Um, Wolfie is his own person. Uh, he's certainly not going to ride the coattails of his dad. He stated it over and over. But, you know, there's still a part of me that uh, is disappointed. I'm thinking, you know, you're surrounded by people like, you know, David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar growing up. And you're hearing these great vocalists and you're hearing these big choruses and these big guitar riffs and just great melodic rock for the most part. I mean, you know, during the 90s, did Van Halen get a little darker on balance? Yeah, they did. But uh, you could still pull a good number of tracks off of that that still, you know, met the quota of being, you know, melodic rock greatness. And so uh, Wolfie, I think, is his own thing. I think he's influenced by a lot of stuff that came through the 90s into the early 2000s. I think that's where he gets most of his mojo. Um, Distance is a good song. That's the best of the lot so far. This new track though, uh, which is being praised, kind of takes Wolfie into uh, an area that most Van Halen fans, I mean, they can respect it. I'm not saying they won't respect it, not appreciate um, the fact that he wrote and produced and arranged and you know, did everything, uh, played all the instruments and so forth. Those are big accomplishments. I mean, few individuals can do that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, I hear music coming from Europe uh, or even the United States that flies in under the radar. And I'm just going to mention this because it's been on my mind lately. There's this band called Save the World, which you can check out a tune they have out called Miss Muse. Uh, very melodic, but yet kind of progressive, but very melodic and uh, very familiar and comfort food for uh, old geezers like you and I, uh, or people who are a little, you know, young at heart or just people who are tired of the current music scene. I think the remedy to what's happening musically isn't what Wolfgang Van Halen is attempting to do. Um, even though he's not riding his father's coattails, I think he gets a bit of a free pass because his name is Van Halen. And people will say, okay, well, it's Van Halen. I'm going to like this, right? Well, I remember in the old days when all my friends were listening to alternative rock back in the 80s when I was uh, at college radio, and I liked some of it, but I had to force myself to like some of it. Uh, I ended up respecting it more than I really liked it. Like I didn't take it forward. A lot of my friends from that time period did though. And they still talk about those bands. And I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of grew out of that. I'm just, that isn't my thing. I want to hear the best possible music that I can. And, you know, music is subjective. So my best might not be your best. My best might be your worst, but if you've got the name Van Halen and there are people out on social media that are going to pound you every day, um, it's kind of tough to go in a different direction. And I'm not saying he should try to imitate his dad, but I'm saying that it's disappointing knowing that he was around all of this music and he decided rather than pay homage to it, he decided to go in a completely different direction. But that's fine. That's what he's decided to do. Uh, for me, uh, I'm going to continue to look for and listen for the best melodic rock that's out there. And when I find it, I will tell people about it. Um, Wolfgang Van Halen, obviously talented, but he's making the kind of music that 
um, I can certainly take a pass on. It's interesting. Um, you know, there's a curiosity factor to it, but that's pretty much it at this stage. So, um, and look, Distance was a really touching, moving, wonderful, beautiful song. Um, I was playing it that week it came out and it, it hits you hard because it's so bare bones emotional. But as far as a lasting legacy musically, don't know. Don't know what will become of Wolfgang Van Halen. Um, I still think he should uh, sign on to the idea of um, running the Van Halen brand, reviving it and getting Sammy and Dave and everybody and just do one last tour. And uh, then you can go on and do his own thing. I mean, that's how you really pay tribute to, to your father. Um, but I don't think he's going to do that. So in any event, uh, kids, they always seem to go their own way. You can try as you may, you can encourage them to do one thing and they're, you tell them to do one thing and they're going to do the opposite. It's kind of human nature. But again, I'm not saying Wolfgang isn't talented. I'm just saying he's not my cup of tea. All right. So I'm done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.